Today we're going to talk about bonding, which is uh, in our uh, Debo-Ho idea, deepening, bonding, and uh, holding. W this is the part where we're moving out into the world. We're making contact with the outer world. We're um, expanding our field out into contacting with other people. And in so doing, we can maintain something of the relationship aspect of life that has, is such a big piece of it, where we love and we care and we feel connected to other people. This is, uh, this is the bond, the, not the James Bond, the bond of humanity that we have to each other. Come to realize more and more that uh, compassion is the real um, connector of human beings that causes societies to prosper and for people inside those societies to thrive. And over the course of time, um, we have become a more compassionate world, although there are ups and downs, and currently at this point, this idea of the separation of rich and poor is still very much part of it, and we are not able to always see each other, especially in first world to third world, or very wealthy to the average human being to see ourselves in each other. But when we do, when we develop this sense of compassion, and amazing things can happen, we lift everybody up. We, to the uh, uh, philosophical period called the Enlightenment, in which people began to honor humanity, uh, where the lines, we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal and endowed by the Creator with certain unalienable rights. These words were not possible in that feudal system before, but came out of the Enlightenment when we had leveled the playing field again. And compassion for our fellow man and woman was the order of the day rather than the me-only attitude. So one of the things that could be happening out of this period of our history, the one that we're going through right now, is the realization that we're all in this together. And this deeper understanding might be the basis of a deepening of compassion, of understanding and evaluating everyone and everyone's position in the world. If you follow the great teachers of spiritual spirituality, they all seem to come back to this idea that compassion, that seeing oneself in the other, is fundamental to becoming uh, fully yourself, to becoming really fully human. So our job in this time of, of coronavirus is to develop compassion, not only uh, by looking deeply within ourselves and finding the depth of understanding of who we are, but by looking outward and extending this compassion outward. Since we're a spiritual community, one way we can do that, and certainly we can do it within the confines of our own home, is to pray for others. If we will develop the habit of praying for others, then we begin to open ourselves to this sense of mutuality that we are both in this together, and that I pray for your happiness, health, or, or or wealth or satisfaction of some kind, I pray for that. I am now bonding. So our job is to pray for others. And in praying for them, we begin to deepen our bond to them. This deepening is the really the heightening of our spiritual practice. Start with the people you care about and say a prayer for them. Say a prayer that they might be happy or healthy or wealthy or satisfied in some way. Make that prayer request. Say it in a positive, say it in an affirmative, but say it with feeling. And when you do this, then you send out this vibration that will send uh, something that connects the two of you. It begins to, you now begin to be bonded. You be then you go to people who you don't know, but you see um, at the takeout window, or you know from them on TV that they're doing uh, hospital work, or they're... Um, your neighbor, but you don't know them that well, say a prayer for them. You send your love, your compassion out to them. You hope for their happiness and their satisfaction. You extend yourself to them. Do that. Do that with gusto, with feeling also. And then we go, once we've kind of gathered ourselves 
into this practice of praying for others fully enough, then let's go to those people we don't like and see if it's possible to break down the barrier of who we think they are and who we think we are in comparison to them and jump over that barrier by praying for their happiness, their health, or their wealth, or their satisfaction in some way, and doing it progressively with more feeling. See if we can do it in such a way that we actually care. We actually have compassion for them and know that someone can pray or move energy for you. And there is a shift. Something changes. We're, we're more powerful than we appear to be because we have identified with the body and the brain as being who we are. But when you really come to know yourself, perhaps you'll have this sense that I'm more than this. And being more than this, perhaps you actually have more power than the body and the brain can explain. Maybe you, there's something transcendent about you, something that you can allow yourself to be a presence for other people, to come with love and compassion for other people in such a way that you begin to develop a bonding, a loving, powerful relationship. This week, what we're doing is we're praying for others, a powerful, healing, and transformative practice.